this unboxing is about maybe changing the channel. Now we'll get into what we have. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought... Oh, oh, oh. It's an unboxing video. But the unboxing is about speech. Speech. On relentless homesteading. We don't know nothing about no learning. Okay, a little fiddly. Okay, here's the main main elements here. Maybe we can get some better audio on these YouTubes. So this is a Sony IC recorder, ICD PX440. Now it is stereo, but that's not going to help us much here. With and uh, here's a like a headphone jack microphone head headset microphone that there we go headset microphone this one's made by pile it's model PMEM1 mini ear hanging microphone oh yeah and i remember all of the specs well they're actually right here in front of me but it had pretty decent specs uh, in terms of uh you know bandwidth and and all that so hopefully it'll pr provide a clear signal and so and the uh, even has the little mufflers over it, which is good. I ordered some. I didn't know it was coming with it. These are quite a bit larger. So we're going to be uh, testing this out. That's one of the reasons I got the batteries here. This takes triple A's. So I will put some rechargeables in it. And it adds another editing step to the videos. But uh, if I can get better audio quality... Uh, especially when I turn my head one side or the other and you can't hear me very well. So actually in post-production I've had to, uh, you know, increase the audio when I'm moving about and and do that. But uh, this might make that a little easier. We're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and open it up the rest of the way. This is an unboxing within an unboxing. Okay. Enough said. And I'll actually do a review, and uh, I'll use it in the latter part of this video, in the review part. So we'll get it connected up. Okay, but what have we got in here? It's a pretty small little unit, yes. Yes, indeed. How many batteries does it take? Oh, that's a clever cleaver. Just one battery? Mm, okay. Okay. Oh, this is my everyday carry. I go a little differently. Rather than getting an expensive knife for my on-the-belt knife, I like something that's really fairly cheap but holds up. This is a Gerber, but it's a, you know, it's not an expensive Gerber, but I trash through these things. You know, the one on my belt, I kind of use it for anything. <laughs> if I've got to scrape something off of the concrete or I've got whatever it is, you know, I... I'm not afraid. I've got a little cheap knife and I'm not afraid to use it. You know, if, the problem is you got a really nice knife. You, you don't want to damage it. If you get a chintzy knife, hey, you don't care. Yeah, I, I just about worn this thing out and I, I'll go through them and I guess they last me about a year. And uh, then I'll buy another one. And occasionally I can overdo it and even break one. Uh oh. Mission control. Oh, okay. T takes two batteries. That's, that's why it's loose. Ooh. Okay, what is that? It says USB. Oh, there's the USB that extends out. That's pretty clever. I like that. Switchblade. Okay, the batteries are in there. We're going to remove the little label. Something. Okay. That is what is going on here. I see. Very interesting. I'm not interested in entering the date and time. I hate it when they do that. Let me choose. If I don't want to enter the date and time, let me leave it alone. I'm just going to go 
click on them all and say, okay, done. Now, let me record. Okay, we're recording something. I'm looking at the little uh, lights on it. Uh, we're testing. See the unit, the little display. Side of it, it says hold, far left, hold, power on, off. And then over here on the right hand side, on, off, DPC speed control. Now on the opposite side, uh, here we go. The micro SD slot, oh, we get in the right spot. Micro SD slot on the left, and there's an AB. I don't know what that does yet. Volume and erase. We got on top. Left hand side. Left hand side is a headset jack. Right hand side is microphone. Let's flip up the little. Uh... Ooh, okay, it flips the other way. Yeah, there's the little micro SD slot. Sweet. Very nice. Yeah, but I also purchased with it. No, oh, it comes with a little pouch. Uh, not very convenient for me working out here in the pole barn and trying to shoot a video. So I bought a case for it. It's got a little, uh, I don't know what it's made out of, but anyway, it's like a little hard case with a belt clip. So that'll allow me to clip it on my belt. Oh, it fits in there pretty, pretty nicely. And I should be able to hopefully have the microphone still connected. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is a over-the-ear style microphone. You see the little loop down the bottom of the package. And the little microphone head is up there at the top. Some people have reported that it works quite well. It's quite an inexpensive microphone. Let's get back to uh, some of the stuff. Now one of the things you got that's pretty cool, it's a uh, camera staff. It's a monopod camera staff. Now that should be really fun for doing some videos. So there you got the mount right there for my camera mount. I'll take that uh, with me. I've actually been shopping for a good camera for doing these videos with. That's what it extends out to. It's about right height too. Alright, here with an unboxing video. Gee, I wonder, I wonder where this comes from. <laughs> Could there be some changes in store for the channel? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Some of you have already seen the, uh, trying to get a little better audio quality. Okay, so here we got some more change here. Coming up. It's a bag. It's a camera bag for a real camera. It's got all the requisite compartments. Should store enough for the mirrorless camera. Now the camera that's coming is not a Canon. And the other items, some filters, filter kit, 
And this is actually an adapter. This will adapt the camera that's coming. So I've really spilled the beans. <laughs> this will adapt it to our spotting scope, which is actually a very large, uh, pretty large spotting scope. So it allows us to really get some good shots. This is our Nikon Pro Staff spotting scope. Down over the water and the ships and that sort of thing. That would be nice. I've been wanting to, uh, looking forward to this for a long time. And, well, cleaning cloths and just miscellaneous stuff, cleaning cloth and then some uh, memory cards. The camera that's coming is shoots 4K video. It's another day, another unboxing, another box from Adorama. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this. Granddad's old knives. Da, 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 da. Drum roll, please. It is the Panasonic Lumix G7 with 4K video. Another learning curve here. Okay, let's uh, get a close up. Package of instructions. Oh, well, let's just throw it away now. No, no, no. I'll probably need it. Undoubtedly will need it. Oh, it comes with the body separate from the lens. Makes sense. Let's get something to set this down on when I pull it out of the box. The hoodie. <laughs> There's the lens. I do not want to drop this. Sweet. Okay. The elements that we have here. Here is the charger. Nice little charger. Oh, and there's the battery pack. There's the battery. I haven't ordered any extras yet. But I shall in due course. Strap. And here's the body. Be very careful. This has the, the viewfinder, or viewfinder, the uh, screen that can flip around so that I can uh, do selfies a little better. Oh, it fits my hand really nicely. I was actually afraid about that. They make them small, they may be a little too small. Okay, I'm going to attach the lens onto it now. Line up the red dots. Click into place. There we go. Here's looking at you. Let's see if we got any go power. Ooh. Okay, where it go? Set the clock. So it is working, and I will. Uh, I'll uh, be talking about it in another video. So why did I choose the Lumix G7? It's Panasonic. Okay, there's a number of things. First is performance. This has a micro four-thirds sensor in it, so it brings in a fair amount of light. But there's also a number of uh, available lenses. And the kit lens that it comes with in this particular model is a 14 by 140, 14 to 140. So it actually works out to be 28 to 280. And it's a, a, a 3.5 to 5.6 as I recall, looking at the light there, it's 
Now I can't focus in on it. Anyhow, <laughs> so it's got great performance. The kit lens on it is very nice. Shoots 4K, which is wonderful. It's got very good low light performance. It has, uh, you know, many features. Here's the, you know, pop up light for flash, pop up flash. It's got the hot shoe. It's got a viewfinder in the back. The uh, it's got tremendous performance in terms of you can take uh, bursts of shots. You can take uh, time sequence. It's got great time lapse, and you can extract photos. In fact, from a you could take 4K video and you could extract uh, any of the frames out of there as a photo, and you get good resolution on those. Which a 1080 wouldn't give you good enough resolution for a photo. So it's got a lot of benefits. You can do burst mode has uh, image stabilization on it. So that's going to be incredible. It's very convenient, especially for shooting video. The screen on it's a touch screen, but the touch screen's a flippy screen. So you can use it like that. You can flip it around to the front for doing, you know, like a selfie mode. So that will be extremely handy. It also has good focus control. Let's flip this back together. Since it's mirrorless, there's, there's no mirror to damage inside. It also makes it lightweight. You know, DSLRs have a problem with, you know, uh, it gets hit with some shock and you could damage the mirror adjustment and the mirror inside of it. You've also got the sound of the mirror flip-flopping around. And it slows down the rate at which you can take your shots. And I don't see that there's really a need for mirrors at this, uh, state of technology. So it's lightweight. It's also for the features that it provides. It's it's quite low cost. It's got uh, easy ability through the touch screen to be able to do the adjustments. And apparently it's one of the easier cameras to work with. And since I'm just getting back into this after many years, the, the last real camera I had had 35 millimeter uh, film in it. So it's been a while. Let's get on to the, let's not get on to anything, that's it, well, and you'll, you'll see we'll start using this, uh, get into it over time, RH here, Ocelot Projecto.